Welcome to Soup for the Soul. No portion of Soup for the Soul may be used without the expressed written consent of Kimmy Wyatt. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Hi, you guys. Um, I just had a shocking revelation with my PayPal account, right? You know, guys know I'm, if you don't know, um, I'm, I need to stop saying you know, but because you may not know. But um, just had a shocking revelation. Um, one revelation a little more shocking than, than the other, and let me go into detail. I created a new PayPal account, uh, not a new PayPal account, a new PayPal password on yesterday, earlier, or day before yesterday. But it was so late that you might as well say yesterday. So I don't know which one it was, but I just created a new um, password. This is something I do, you know. This is normal for me. I don't keep the same passcode, and you shouldn't either, and I will go into why you shouldn't. Um, got ready to log in today, and, I'm, I'm, you know, it, it would let you see what you actually put in. You know, it's a little button to the right of where you're entering the passcode, and it would, you could press it to see if you are actually putting the correct stuff in, which I knew I was, or the correct passcode. So I kind of checked it, and I'm like, blah, 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 yeah, 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 you know, you know. I'm like, everything's correct, you know, and so that that was a red flag to me that someone had gone in and changed my passcode, okay? I did not change my passcode. I haven't changed it since then, but I was just in my account. Now, let me explain something to you guys. I'm being spied on in my apartment um, as I was before, and I have to put this in here. Uh, I, I try my best to not add um, the spying, the blue cup in the attic, to my work when I'm not doing things about the blue cup in the attic. Um, if you want to know what the blue cup in the attic is, um, go to my YouTube channel and look for videos that say TBCITA, the blue cup, in, or which is the acronyms for the blue cup in the attic. Or you can um, get on my Google Plus page and. Um, start following the page. Either way, the blue cup in the attic, in a nutshell, is a blue cup that I is is referencing a blue cup that I found in my attic when I lived in my prior apartment, two bedroom, two baths. The uh, master bedroom had a uh, a a a well, not a hole. Well, it was a hole, but it was covered up a trap door where you can go up into the attic, and you literally had an attic um, above your head. Uh, so. Uh, found a blue cup up there, make a long story short, and that's what I've been calling um, the things that I post in reference to being spied on. So, but um, getting back to what I was saying, I did not change my passcode. This is not the first time this has happened with my PayPal account. I knew something was wrong. I'm like, okay, I'm going to change the passcode, but I'm like, no, 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 no. And I did change the passcode. But I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. They have two-step verification. I had just seen this, but I didn't utilize it um, and said that I would do it later because I was uh, I was and am doing my um, buy now buttons for my, um, my items for the website that's coming up real soon. Um, it's going to be back up, you guys. Thank you, Jesus. But so I'm like, somebody changed my passcode. Someone changed my passcode. What's going on? So I contacted um, PayPal, and um, even though the guy was not aware as, as to, because I had just seen it on the website that I can do two-step verification, and I, in other words, I, I saw it again when I after I changed my passcode. Um, and so I was like, yeah, they do have two-step verification. That's verification for me, confirmation. So I called, and make a long, long story short, this guy did not know how to do it quite, but he he wouldn't admit to it. or it, it, it didn't go like that, like I'm saying. It was just like, let me check on that. And then he said, oh, you have a business account. And I was like, yeah. So um, make a long story short, he walked me through as I was in my browser on my PayPal account what I needed to do to do two-step verification. It was so easy. It's about six steps of that uh, where you will get a phone call if you elect that or a text message. Um, I didn't even see where it did phone calls. It was a, it was a text message. Now, one of the other platforms, Google+, Plus, will you can have either text message or a phone call uh, uh, you know, to get, send this verification code. Um, and so walked through, did it, everything's okay. Um, and so that locked me out of my account that I was in. And uh, these people know what they're doing, you guys. And so uh, and this is after getting on th off the phone with him. And so what I did was put my new passcode in and... Um, 
got a verification code sent to my phone because I have two-step verification now, and I'll explain to you what that is. And then when I got in my account, I changed my passcode again. Okay, You guys, it's very critical that, as I was saying earlier, I, and when I talked about the spying, I know why I'm being spied on. I'm somewhat of a social light, so people, even though I, you know, they see me in my drag, you know what I'm saying, I just have on a shirt or something, you know, people are so, th that, excuse my language, that damn nosy, where when they know you're on social media and they have access to you and it's unlawful and they're doing it um, illegally, they're going to watch you and they're going to let people who know you watch you. And the people who they know who know you that are watching you as well that have to come over and watch you via camera, they know that you're being watched and they're going to tell someone. Or, and better, what I'm basically saying is no one's going to rat on anyone because they have access to you. Now, I am not Oprah Winfrey by any means of the spectrum, physically or, or mentally. However, I am, I'm definitely not Oprah Winfrey when it comes down to her money. However, I, I have my followers. I have people who who really just can't stand me and hate my guts okay <laughs> and Oprah has these people and what I'm saying is I'm not on her level yet I am known you know what I'm saying and so people who find out that they can watch you oh my god we're, that's like watching Oprah but not really like watching Oprah because she's more power powerful and more um um I'm not going to say powerful, but she has more, she has more followers. She has more money, everything. You know what I'm saying? And so when people can watch you at their will, see how you sit on the toilet, see how you brush your teeth, see how you eat your food, see what kind of groceries you buy, see what is that product she puts in her hair. How does she do that? You guys didn't know this, but Kimmy, come, Kimmy, 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 Kimmy. Access. It's the perfect crime. They can see everything that you do when you go in the kitchen and how you make your French fries, how you eat your French fries. Does she put ketchup on them or not? They will never say anything because they are part of the culprits that are watching you. So with that being said, if you are being spied on, even if you're not, it, you, you, unlike myself, probably don't even know you're being spied on. This is the new thing to spy. Please be careful of these 11 things, okay? Whether you're being spied on or not, one of them, I say 11, but it's just one of these that you guys are probably doing and you're wondering how people are getting in your account, okay? You're wondering, how is this happening? How are they getting in my account? Some Something, I didn't have this passcode. Okay, so um, two-step verification. Two-step verification means, yes, I put my passcode in, but I still have to get a phone call, either a phone call or a text message to confirm that I am who I am because I own that phone and so that I can gain access to my account. You guys, please, I don't know of a, of a platform on the planet right now that does not offer two-step verification. I'm sure there's some, sm some smaller mom-and-pop type social media platforms, you know, out there. But please inquire if you don't already know that it's available about having two-step verification. What that means, in essence, is that no one can get in your account unless they have your phone. Okay? No one can get in your account unless they have your landline or they're answering your landline phone. Okay? If you still, if you have a landline. Landline meaning any other type of phone other than um, a cell phone. You know, basically a home, a home phone or, or business phone. No one has that. You, what, how is it that somebody, someone can come and answer your phone? So your phone's going to ring uh, if, if you've elected that option, if it's available. And, and you, you're, you're waiting for this code. Because you've already put your passcode in, the, in this um, and there um, to sign to uh, log in, and you're waiting for this code, and you're going to get either a phone call or you're going to get a text message. I choose te text message. Okay, you know I don't. You don't have to talk, or you don't have to talk if you're getting a phone call. But I'm saying you just listen for the text message. You look and see what the code is. You put it in. Bada boom, bada bam. You're in. Okay, you guys. G Plus offers this service. Google Plus. Okay. PayPal offers this service. Please sign. I don't, you know, I'm just telling you companies I deal with. Facebook, I am pretty sure, offers two step verification. There are so many companies. Your bank, if I'm not mistaken, offers two step verification. It's, it's becoming more and more popular. This is a way to keep hackers out of your account. Now, here's the deal. Just because you have two-step verification, you may be the only one who can access, the, access that account when need be, but you may not be the only one who can see what you can see while you're in it. 
two different things. If a hacker is in your phone or using key loggers or what have put key loggers on your computers, on your phones or whatever, they can access to a degree, um, not with two-step verification, but they can know when you're in. They can know what you've been typing. These are called key loggers. If they're on your, it's in most times if it's on your phone, it's an app, okay. And some apps that are no good apps can log your keystrokes. If so, you know, and 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 but most times, these are apps that are put on your phone by other entities, hackers, uh, people you know, hackers. Okay, so before I get got started, I had to do ten minutes of all of that. Uh, one of these 11 is two-step verification. Okay, so please sign up for that ASAP. If you don't know how to sign up with it on Google+, Plus, please put a note at the bottom below where this is posted, and I will definitely walk you through thoroughly how to en enable your two-step verification. Do that, you guys. Okay, do it today. Not tomorrow, today. Okay, so changing your passcode. I talk about this all the time. Please change your passcode every 30, 45, or 60 days, depending on how often you go in, depending on how secure you feel like you are, your infrastructure with your business, um, your, your personal um, business. You know, um, 30 days is, is in, in, the, in the world of changing passcodes is a long time. Okay? Change your passcode every 30 days. 45 days if you feel pretty safe and you don't log in that much, you're not really concerned about your stuff. 60 days if you're like, huh. I got to change it because I got to change it. But in actuality, I don't really do anything with that account, you know, much or much. Okay. 30, 45, 60. That's what that means. Um, you also want to remove, like I said, uh, mentioned a little bit, any uh, key loggers or apps that from your devices. This is including on your laptops, your desktops, your phones. Um, what a key logger is, it locks your strokes, your keystrokes. You type in at, A-T then whomever have installed this on your phone or your, your devices, they're going to get at, A-T. And when dealing with um, computers, okay, I don't think this is possible with phones, but when dealing with computers, laptops, tablets, desktops, etc. Um, is there really an etc. laptops, desktops, tablets? Yeah, I think that's it. So when dealing with those devices, they are probably getting this information remotely because of remote desktop, you know, um, of terminal services, depending on what uh, operating system you have, okay? These are, these are things that can um, assist, you know, remote assistance. These are things or, or, or apps or, or programs on your computer by default, in most cases, unless they put something extra on, that can be manipulated to send your keystrokes, your keyboard strokes, to them remotely and them being whomever has installed it or hackers or whatever okay and so yeah yeah so check your computers and devices for that check your phone for apps look up these apps on your phone like I didn't put that app on there what is that you know look up app it's so easy go into your settings and you'll see apps and click apps and then I have a phone that has default apps which means you know they're just regular apps and then I and then you can choose show system apps these are all of the apps on your phone inclusive of the default apps okay pass key for customer service Ooh -wee. you guys let's talk PayPal if you have a business or you have a PayPal personal account um, Please, especially if you have a business, if you're just sending money here and there to someone, your your baby that's in the army, or or you know whatever it is, your baby in college rather, you, you probably don't care about a pass key. But what a pass key is, and it's called different things depending on the company. A pass key is usually a code, a six digit code minimum in most cases that you have generated, that you have come up with yourself because you're you're logged in and you've chosen this code yourself. A code that you can remember, have written down. And what happens is when you call customer service, you have to give them that code before they, before they will divulge. I don't care if you verify the phone number. Let me, let me finish my sentence. Before they will divulge any information to you. I don't care if you did the regular verification. Oh, my phone number is this. When they ask, uh, my, my address is this, blah, 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 blah. You still got to give that code. Okay. <laughs> so it's like... Because people have your information. I know that my hackers have my social social security. I know this for a fact. So as it stands right now, not only is there a two-step verification, which my phone is connected to my PayPal account, 
you, if you call customer service and try to get balance information or whatever, now you have to get that code for which you do not know what that code is. Ding! Okay, another thing I found in my PayPal account after all this, but today, just right after that, I, I went into each and everything dealing with security. I just went down each of the lists, whom other managers that I've chosen hadn't chosen any, but just everything, click everything. And I have found um, an entity, a website that I have never, ever, ever seen in my life that was enabled to be able to log into my account and find information out about my account. I'm like, really? Who are you? I don't even know. So I don't even know how long that's been on the account. You know what I'm saying? It's been there probably forever, but I, I doubt it. You know, I, 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 God is good. I just discovered that. Now, in lieu of everything that I've done, if they had a found out anything that I just said, like, okay, she's got, sh oh, you know, we got her phone or, or she's lost her phone, anything where they could have actually gotten into my account because they have access. I mean, I, I somehow, which I didn't do this, author, do this, authorize them to go into my account. Sorry. And it was a website. No, 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 no. Not today, partner. You will not be going in my account. Gone. Removed. And if I hadn't have been able to remove it, you better believe I would have been calling PayPal again. What is this? And, but, you know, and PayPal didn't do it. It's, 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 a, it's a hacker, okay, which is probably how my passcode kept getting changed. Now, I'll go back to this. People want to know what you're doing. It's, this is not the government, okay? People want to know what you're doing, how much money you're making, because they're haters. They want to know this, this, that, and other. I, I will never for the life of me... I, I, I say this all the time. Focus on you, idiot. I do not understand how people focus on other people. I, that, that, whoo, it's just as if they have the time. They have 48 hours in a day and you have 24 just like every, all the other normal people. And they, they have 48 hours a day. And they could just do all the... Whoa, whoa. You have 24 hours a day, just like everyone else does, so therefore focus on your idiotic self. I don't get it. I don't get it. Time is of the essence. And then some of them, I think, are going to live again, like, like, like Irene Cara. Fame! I'm going to live forever. I'm going to learn how to fly. Ha! I mean, come on now. All music has been approved for use via the ASCAP license owned by the individual entity or radio station. Look, you guys, come on. You're not Irene Cara. You're not going to live forever. And then because you think you're going to live forever, you feel like life is just grand. You can just do what the F you want to do when you want to do it. You can focus on me all day. You can count Kimmies when you go to sleep instead of sheep. And then you still have another 10, 12 hours to do you. No, woo woo. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that, woo woo. You have 24 hours a day to do something with your life, just like I do. Get to it, honey. Okay, moving right along. Okay, so do not add additional managers and users or managers unless absolutely necessary. You're going into the hospital. You know you're going to be hospitalized. You're on your deathbed. Who knows? Only God has the final word. But as it stands, you're on your deathbed. You need to add additional people to these accounts. And I have seen this multiple times in Google Plus um, where um, I think it's like your settings or something. It's like at the very bottom, like what to do with your account in case of your death. Now, they don't say it that way, but basically that's what they mean. Um, please sign up for this stuff, you guys, because if you were to die, you can't post anything else. But if you were to die, your manager, the, per the people or the users that you've chosen to manage your account, can log in and let people know that you have passed away. Okay, so people can send those, even though you'll never see them, sympathy uh, posts or whatever, comments, you know, or whatever. Okay, so please do that. Now, if you're traveling and it's just temporary, not saying you can't reach your um, uh, platform when you're not traveling, um, because, you know, this is, this is the World Wide Web. And, and you, I'm sure you can get online if you're traveling, traveling like to um, France or something. Yeah, you can get online if you're traveling to France. Uh, you may have to change your um, setting, language settings or do something a little different. I don't know. Um, but um, 
at least you can log in. But if there's a case where you really don't want to log in, log in, you've left instructions for someone, you're going to a remote island, you want to be by yourself. Oh, gosh, I wish I could do that. Because I'm, I'm alone, but not alone. You guys, you hear me? <laughs> my, 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 my body is on fleek. 24 hours a day, baby. I, if y'all knew how I was sleeping, I'm, see, I'm trying to do all this because I will be posting unembarrassingly because I do not care. It's really going to make them look bad. Um, how I have to sleep, you guys. I've already posted some, but I mean, I, I, I have to cover myself up. I got to do everything. Ooh, we. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I know you do if you're listening. Okay, moving right along. Um, uh, like, for instance, uh, what to do with your account, like I mentioned if you were to pass away. See, one of the things that got me when I was on Facebook is that I was following Barry White. I was following Barry White. <laughs> Show you right. <laughs> Show you right. I had to get really deep. Show you right. Okay, I was following Barry White, you guys. And all of a sudden, Barry White is... is and yeah, people were laughing at me. Barry White is sending us, the followers, these things like... Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me. I'm gonna make this up because I I can't really remember. But things like um. Now he's dead, mind you. <laughs> but he's sending posts. Um, show you right. Today is such and such and such and such and such. I'm like, that's not Barry. Barry's dead. How can Barry be posting this stuff and he is dead? Kind of eerie, you guys. Please don't do that. If the person is dead, let you know. Let people know you're posting in lieu of them or for them. Don't just sit up there and start posting stuff because this person is dead, and you're sitting there saying, "Happy birthday to me." No, no, no. It's, it, it, today would have been your birthday, but you are six feet under. You know, no, 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 no birthday for you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so clean your cookies and cash. Um, oh, let me finish that. You know, and so I started posting how is it possible for Barry to be saying these things or doing these things or whatever ever when he is deceased. It just, you know, on, on their end, it looked, it was legitimate. It looked good and they knew what they were doing because he's dead and they wanted to still represent Barry Wright. Barry White. But um, on the end of the receiver, <sighs> kind of eerie the man is dead so it's not what you say it's how you say it it's not what you post is how you post it okay so move and right along clean your cookies in cash uh, from your browser these are not physical cookies that you have in your cookie jar i'm talking about cookies these are little bits of information every time you go to a website unless you have disabled cookies and you're still able to go which you can in most cases you just can't shop if, you di if you've disabled cookies in your browser, whatever browser you're using, whether on your computer or on your phone, if you've disabled those, you shouldn't have any cookies. However, every website uses cookies. It's by default, basically, because it helps you to, one, go to that website quicker, and two, order from that website if they have a shopping cart. Okay? And so... But number one is to help you go back to that website. Now, there are things like third-party cookies or tracking cookies and things like that that tracks your activity after you have left the website or even while you're still on it but maybe browsing something else or doing something else. You haven't cleaned the cookie, so you're still in, on this page, basically, even though you're not physically there. So what they are able to do is to find out what websites you go to, your, um, your shopping history, all kinds of stuff, which is basically another way that businesses will spy on you and your search engines, okay? To see what, what, what does this person really like. So clean your cash and cookies regardless of the situation. Clean them all the time. I clean mine like, um, I'm telling you, like, like, ooh. I clean mine like it's like a, like a bad seed or something. I clean them all the time. I don't care if I'm on my phone, on a laptop, desktop, whatever. I clean my cash and cookies all the freaking time, okay? And just to let you know, by default, some browsers, if you choose this option to delete that information, make sure that you go in and check the boxes that are unchecked. Um, now, if you don't have your passcode to that particular website written down or you don't know it, by heart, you know, and you got it in your head, then if you check the box to delete your cookies, I mean to delete your passcodes, that's what it's going to do. It's going to delete your passcodes from that browser, meaning you're not going to be, as a matter of fact, you're not going to be able to log in. As a matter of fact, it may even, um, um, like, not redo the website, well, God, refresh the web, the page. 
to where you don't have even your name, your login name or email address there anymore. You're going to have to actually log back in. So be careful with that and make sure that if you're going to be deleting cash and cookies, that you do have your passcodes to these websites. Because once you do that, depending on what you've chosen, some are by default. It's just going to automatically delete cookies and stuff. But um, check those boxes or keep them unchecked if you're unsure about your passcodes, okay? And if you're unsure about your passcodes, please, since you can log in, um, go in and, and, and change your passcode, write it down, and then you'll be able to go ahead or you, you, you can check the box to clear your passcode or whatever, okay? And if you didn't understand that, please comment below. Okay, so write down all of your passcodes and passwords on separate pieces of paper. If the wind blows, first of all, write them down, period. You're not that smart. You're not as smart as you think. Believe me, there have, there have been many times, oh, I'll write that down later. I'll write it down later. Oh, I remember. Oh, God. Ah! I didn't write the passcode down, but I'm so dang on smart that I didn't have to write it down. I got passcodes to every. You guys, I got passcodes to everything, literally everything multiple passcodes to this I'm, write it down when you write it down then it's there if you put an asterisk in your passcode put an asterisk down there in your passcode because you because you might know the name but it's something you're missing and it could be a symbol that you chosen that you've chosen to be included in that passcode and you have forgotten you remembered that part but you forgot oh yeah at the end in the middle at the beginning i put a question mark Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's what it is. Well, it's too late. Okay, you don't remember. So write them down on separate pieces of paper. Another reason why you want separate pieces of paper is because the wind is blowing. If that wind blows and blows that entire piece of paper off into, like, um, um, the water thing, there's the sewage, you're going in there to get it? You're going to go get it? Huh? Huh? No. You're not going into the sewage to get your paper. You've lost all of your passcodes. Of course, you can call the city and say, hey, you guys, next time you guys go down there, could you please give me, you know, give me, give me my stuff, man. I had about 20 passcodes on there. I don't, that's <laughs> not going to happen. Okay. Especially if it rained on top of that. You, you're not, they're not going down there. The rats have it. The rats got it. They're making a house with it. So moving right along. So please do it on a separate piece of paper. Um, pieces of paper for that reason as well. If the wind blows, all of your stuff is gone. If someone steals that piece of paper, all of your stuff is gone. All of your passcodes are gone. So now you can use now. Now you can do this as, as a suggestion. Put all of your passcodes on a piece of paper and have a master passcode list. Okay. And when you do that, you guys, please don't say, for instance, G plus passcode, Facebook passcode. You guys, just just do one, two, three, four. You ought to remember this stuff because when you look down that list, you'll remember which one of those passcodes went to whatever you are trying to log into. You know, don't don't tell everyone everything. You know, some some people stop, cut it out. Some people just just it's just it, I'm detailed when I talk, but when it comes down to me writing something down, I am not detailed. I am so sorry. <laughs> I know how this works, and I know there's idiots out there. Okay, stop writing down stuff in the open like changing passwords, etc. Um, if you're wondering another way that they're getting in and, and finding out things is because you're always in your kitchen. There are cameras in your kitchen and you're always in your kitchen writing down stuff in the same particular spot. Well, if you have a camera in your kitchen and you keep changing your passcode and you're wondering, scratching your head, wondering why, ding! Baby, baby girl, there's a camera in your kitchen. So when you go over there to the right by your where you keep your potatoes and you write down all this stuff because that's where your pens and markers and everything is in your paper. Guess what? They're looking. They're looking. <laughs> they have access. You have access. So my suggestion is um, go outside. Go outside away from where you live. Go across the street. Write this stuff down on a piece of paper. Bring it back in. Woo! Or if you go to work, when you get to work, change your passcodes. You're in the bathroom in the stall, change your passcodes. Now, if there's a camera in there, they don't know who you are. They just know that you come there and use the restroom, but they don't have any clue as to where you live, what you're changing. They're trying to look at you, okay? They don't know you. If, if maintenance or has or someone has put a camera in there where you work, you're pretty safe changing your passcode right there, okay? Unless you have a stalker, like I do. I got stalkers, y'all. <laughs> They want to know where I am at all times. Okay, 
Um, so like I said, go outside, go into your, the workplace. You can also go into a restaurant. If you know you're going out to eat for lunch, then that's a perfect time to change your passcodes because, um, you know, you're not uh, in your normal surroundings. Okay. So do that. And also you guys, um, usually when you're changing your passcode, you have your phone in your hand and you haven't covered up your camera. Please get some electrical tape. Three deep, meaning three pieces of electrical tape, same size if possible, and, and, and put those three pieces on top of each other on your cell phone to cover up your camera when you are not using it. You guys need to pay me for this information. My PayPal account is Kimmy Wyatt. Two at Outlook.com. I'm telling you, I don't care if you send me a dollar. This is something that, like, this needs to be in Fort Knox. <laughs> the information I'm giving you. I want my money. God, dog it. Okay, stop saving your passwords in your phone. Please stop saving your passwords in your phone. You guys, if you have a hacker, first of all, a hacker's not going to let you know. Um, I'm just good. I'm sorry. I, I know. <laughs> but a, a normal hacker, well, normal hacker, they're not normal, they're idiots. But normally, a hacker is not going to let you know that they're even in your phone. Why would they do that? Knowing that you can go in, you've, you've got control and can, you've got control and can go in and change whatever they did, okay? So they don't, they try to be discreet about what they do. So please stop leaving passwords, passwords in your phone, to your um, devices, to your emails, to your social media accounts, to your PayPal accounts, any accounts. Because if, if you have a hacker, and chances are you do, okay, regardless of what walk of life you're in, someone is trying to find out about you, probably in most cases. Um, and so they have, like I said, keyboard loggers and stuff. So please don't keep that information in your phone. Okay. Or an app they've downloaded or something. So, so like I said, write it on paper. Okay. And, um, and do a master list. Lastly, um, check out whether other entities, I kind of said this earlier that has access to your accounts, go through every single piece of information in the security section of your account. You would be surprised, not, not, not just with PayPal, even with G plus I, I found in the past, um, not so close past, um, stuff that, that you know, where people were authorized or there was something weird. Uh, I forgot what it was, but I'm like, oh, <laughs> not today, maybe yesterday, but not today. <laughs> You won't be getting in there anymore. So, and don't contact the people. You see it, delete it. You already know, unless you can't delete it. You already know that you did not authorize that. Don't contact uh, G+, Plus, please. There is something in my account. I didn't put it there. And they're going to be like, delete it, fool. <laughs> delete it, bro ham. <laughs> this is Kimmy Wyatt. Thank you for joining this Soup for the Soul. I hope you enjoy all of my Soup for the Souls. Please take heed to this information. If I've talked too fast or said something that you didn't understand or comprehend, don't know how to do, please, please, please post your comments wherever this is posted. I will be happy to help you. If you are, haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, uh, let's see. You just go to the videos, either, either of my videos on YouTube. That's Kimmy Wyatt, and, and then subscribe to the channel, and you will be the first to know of new videos. Now, I'm going to tell you, uh, one of the first, I'm going to tell you there are over 100 videos right now. So, you guys get you some popcorn on Friday and just start listening and start looking. Okay, mommy and papi, just start listening and looking and finding out stuff that you did not know because I know some stuff, y'all. I really do. Sadly, I know some stuff that I keep to myself when I see that you do not, you don't have your head on straight. I'm not, I'm not telling. <laughs> not. i telling you nothing. <laughs> and normally, and I know how, I know I was supposed to say that, but I'm keeping it real. I'm not telling you nothing. Because you know what? You don't have your head on straight. You're doing some stuff bullshiggity that you shouldn't even be doing. I don't want to see you, don't want to be you. Be gone with you. Bye. Oh, hasta la vista. Buenas tardes, buenas noches. Arriba, dulce, abrevoir, salida. Don't let the doorknob hit you where the good Lord split you. Chow bela, chow bela, smooches. Uh, 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 bye. <laughs>